Hi, children. How are you today? I hope everyone is doing great. Today we are going to learn about sink and float. Sink and float. Before we start the lesson, let's sing songs first. Seven, eight. 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Sing and float. What does it mean if something sinks? Yes, it means something goes under the surface or goes into the water. And what does it mean to flood? Do you know what does it mean? Yes, that's right. It means that something stays on top of the water. So these objects are sink and these objects are float. Let's find out about Dead Sea. Do you know why people can float on the Dead Sea? Let's check some facts about Dead Sea. The Dead Sea is a lake between the West Bank and Jordan. It is 418 meters below sea level. It is the lowest point on the surface of the Earth. The Dead Sea is almost 9 times as salty as the ocean. That makes it impossible for most life to exist in it. This is the reason for its name, Dead Sea. So no fish live in the Dead Sea. Because the water is so salty, it makes people float. Can you repeat after me, children? Float. So today we are going to be exploring sinking and floating with an investigation. Let's get started, children, and be a scientist today. Are you ready? Let's do it together. These are the materials that we need. First, egg. Second, water. Third, spoon. And for salt. I will put the egg inside the water and let's check what will happen. What happened with the egg, children? Can you tell me? Yes, the egg is sinking. Sinking. Sink. Now, how to make the egg float? Do you know how? Yes, you do. Yes, we need to add salt into the water. Now, we are going to pour salt into the water. Let's count together. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Yes, today we are using 15 spoons of salt. It all depends on how large the bowl is. Let's mix the water and salt children. We are done mix the salt and the water. Now let's put the egg inside and observe what will happen. Look, the egg is floating. Yes, the egg is floating. Do you know why? Because salt water is denser than fresh water. Now you can make your own dense water at your home by adding salt to tap water. Happy trying children! See you soon in another lesson.